So Hannah, we're here down at the Nike launch of the Flyknit uh, back in London. Uh, it's really good to see you. Obviously, you're looking very well. <laughs> the, um, obviously, London 2012 didn't go as we all hoped it would go for you. What's your thoughts now, looking back at it? Oh, it was wonderful to be a part of it at all. And I got injured in late May, and then it became a sort of situation of going from to dreaming to be at the front of that final to can I even go? So to get there and to make it make the semi-final was really quite impressive what I come from. And I think uh, I would have loved to have made the final and just got one more race in that stadium. But I still learned a lot from the whole year. And obviously, with the disappointment of not making the final, were you able to enjoy the games? I mean, I'm sure you obviously wanted to get back training and. Uh, the whole year I said I want to make sure I enjoy the game. You don't stick your head in the sand and then turn around in August and go, could we host the Olympics? I don't even remember it. And I, so I did manage to do that. I did want to take a all in, like, particularly with the, you know, stressing about exactly how I was going to do. I wanted to make sure I could still take in the whole experience. And I did, like village and the, the whole Olympic Park. It was amazing. And you took a bit of time out after the Games. I know you got married last year. Um, <laughs> I got married uh, at the start of this year, oh, early, this year. early January. Um, so that was really nice to just have something to think about that wasn't athletic. So you almost um, put your life on hold uh, for something like the Olympics. So it was uh, nice to, to move on and do that. And uh, now I'm really ready for another outdoor season. An outdoor season. And obviously, you raced already once this year in Birmingham. I mean, how did that go? Um, I did an indoor racing um, in the Birmingham Grand Prix. Um, I've flown back from Kenya three days before and had a cold, so it was a bit frustrating. It wasn't a true reflection of the work I'd put in in Kenya, but, but it was a race. It was fun to warm up and to just compete against the other athletes. Sure. And obviously, Rio's a gold, I'm sure. Um, uh, oh yeah, definitely. I think it was it was amazing to do the Olympics and uh, having done one Olympic cycle because I nearly made Beijing, so I've sort of gone through that and I, I know what I'm letting myself in for and I'm ready to try again. Sure. And also we're down here for the launch of the new shoe. I've just seen you had your shoe steamed. How was that experience? <laughs> yeah, it's really nice. The shoes are amazingly comfortable and I think it's um, just great to be able to get a shoe that's that's totally made for you and uh, just the seamless the seamless upper and the supportive lower just really made for a great shoe. Sure. I mean, you obviously do a lot of work on the track I mean how much work would you actually do out on the road well, I do a lot on the road particularly this time of year like I sort of try and save my calves and my, my lower legs by uh, doing stuff on the grass on the road and I think uh, a shoe like this I think you can run pretty damn fast on the road sure and we won't keep you too long because it is a little bit cold out here your next race uh, probably outdoors not, not quite decided exactly what one yet but uh, yeah I'll start at 1500s late May sure well it's great thanks very much for your time we look forward to watching your race uh, thank you